Hi, today is October 23, 2020. About a week ago, I bought iPhone SE 2020. And as you guys know, it has the eSIM uh, and I tried to activate it and it didn't work that well. Uh, and let me explain what I went through uh, and how difficult it was actually to activate it on my uh, T-Mobile carrier. Um, so uh, just to you know explain it, um, uh, the basic issues, so if you want to activate your eSIM on a new line, especially on T-Mobile, so that's not a problem because there is a soft, there is an app uh, for T-Mobile SIM and you just download that and you, you know, give your new credentials, your email address and stuff. And I think that you can just activate it uh, pretty easy. That's not a problem. The problem is that if you have an eSIM, if you have a regular SIM and you want to transfer that to the eSIM because you want to use um, a different SIM on your in place of your regular physical SIM. So that's where the problems are. And even in this case, uh, for example, I mean, it's been a while that, you know, eSIM has been out, I think more than an year, but the carriers uh, still don't kind of, you know, get an idea how to fix those issues. Uh, so uh, let me just kind of walk through the points that I went through and, uh, uh, you know, how to actually, how I got it fixed. So first, question is that I had in my mind that can you use eSIM as the primary SIM? So the answer is yes. Uh, and I'm saying this because I asked this, you know, from the Best Buy guy who from whom I bought the phone and he said, no, you have to use the physical SIM. But no, that's not correct. Uh, eSIM is embedded SIM and it works just like a regular SIM. The only difference is, is that it is uh, embedded into the uh, phone and it comes with it. Um, so it has all the functionality and I think it's kind of adds a security layer as well. So you, uh, even if somebody, you know, s steals a phone, for example, it still has that SIM and, you know, there's maybe a way to kind of activate it and track the phone that way as well. But, but let's not talk about that and I'll talk about, you know, the activation process. So, uh, really the help that I got from, uh, YouTube, uh, and the, you know, the Reddit, uh, uh, so there were um, there were clear directions there that basically you call uh, the customer support and let them know that okay this is the issue and then you have to give them the IED number is EID number or IED number of the phone and they will just put that in the system and then then you will get a notification and that way yeah, you approve it and that and then in the next thirty minutes or so you can actually activate uh, the new eSIM but that didn't happen for me because you know. Uh, the first, the first thing, the other person was saying that you know just go to the T-Mobile store and they'll scan it, uh, uh, the EID number, and then you know everything will work flawlessly and uh, you know the eSIM will be activated. But that also didn't um, happen for me. Uh, so the first thing that I did was I went to the T-Mobile store and uh, I asked them you know just to scan this um, uh, the the, the IME mean numbers etc. And they scanned it and then they said well these are actually too long and my system does not allow this to be entered. So he said, you know, just to call uh, customer support. So he came out of the store, called the customer support guy and told him about, you know, the issue. And, you know, he was just kind of not sure. Uh, and, you know, he said, you know, do this and that. So anyways, uh, it didn't work. And then I went back to the store and I, you know, I asked them that, you know, they were not able to, you know, put that um, uh, in, into the system. And I think that the, the, the store guy told me to give him the EID number uh, and that's the number that they would need and uh, the person on the phone from T-Mobile he said that you know they, they don't use the EID numbers they need the uh, EMI IMEA number uh, so I gave him I gave him the numbers uh, but it didn't work so I've been just kind of calling then I call a second person uh, on the, from the T-Mobile support again it didn't work and then I call a third time uh, and that was within an hour you know, with all within an hour so then I told them I kind of expressed a little bit of my frustration that okay you know this is just a simple thing and it's, it cannot be done uh, and this one person was telling me that you know just uh, uh, just download the app and activate a new sim uh, and then we'll just adjust it later uh, and the problem was that if you get a new package that starts with $40 uh, and then uh, and upwards and the package that I had was only $25. So I was just not, you know, okay with that. I, I thought, you know, just better just fix my um, exi existing line. So anyways, uh, the last person that I called and then what he did was that he sent me 
uh, an email and that email had the barcode and uh, I then went to the phone and then to the cellular and then add a new line uh, and then scan that barcode and everything worked flawlessly from that point. Um, and when you do that, make sure that when you go through the settings, you have to kind of select, you know, which lines you want to activate the line. So make sure it's the new, uh, it's, the, it's the new SIM. Um, it will have new uh, with the SIM. Uh, because at that point it's possible that you have the old SIM in the phone as well and then you have this uh, new eSIM as well that you're trying to activate so make sure that this sees the new SIM. Uh, so that worked flawlessly and then you know I was able to use my eSIM uh, and uh, so so that was you know it was pretty tricky so I thought I'll just share that with you guys. Um, so that's just one way of activating the eSIM on your iPhone uh, and um, obviously I think it can be done with different ways um, but this is just one way that they send you an email uh, and it would come it would say dual sim something like that and then you just scan it and it will work so that worked pretty easy for me and uh, i hope that you know this was for you guys as well thank you